Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for visiting my channel. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and uh, hit that subscribe button so that you'll never miss an upload from me. So today's video, I'm not sure what I'm going to call it. But it's just going to be a random look. I'm not sure. I got two new palettes. I have the Tarte Pro that I'm going to be using. And I have the Radiance Eye Palette. It's my palette that I'm also going to be using. So yeah, I'm going to, you know, try those out and see what we come up with. Oh yeah, and if you guys wondering what I did to my hair, well, I will show a picture, a before and after picture somewhere here and let you see what my hair looked like before. But I bought this while I was down in New York. Well, while I was down in Newark, New Jersey, I bought this little thing that you just kind of like rub on your hair. Because I got to the point where I couldn't style my hair because my hair is so short. Just, you know, just where just picked out or whatever. So, yeah, I bought this. I wasn't sure, you know. I saw it on YouTube. A lot of people was raving about it. So I'm like, you know what? Let me just give this a try and I love it. I absolutely love it. So let me do a 360 so you guys can see. All right. So let's go ahead and get started with this video. Okay, first what I'm going to do is I already got moisturizer on my face. So I'm just going to take two pieces of tape and I'm just going to put it right here and put the other one there. Okay. Let's see, what kind of primer are we going to use here? I think I'm going to use the MAC and Prime primer. And I'm just going to prime both lids. And the primer is just basically just going to help my eyeshadow last all day. Okay. And then I'm just going to take this this setting powder. And I'm just going to set my um eyelids with it so that my eyeshadow can glide right on easily. I'm kind of really excited to see how this is going to really turn out. I just felt like putting on some makeup today. So. Yeah. Alrighty. So I'm going to go into the Tarte Pro palette first. And let's see. I think what I'm going to do is use this Innocent for my first shade, for my transition, for my, I'm going to use this first shade right here for my transition shade. I'm just going to apply it right up here in my crease. guys and this brush is a matte 224 okay and then I'm gonna take another brush um, 
I think I might want to take this um gotta wipe some of this off then I'm gonna take the brush uh, matte 217 217 and then I'm just gonna go in with this wimpsy color And I'm just going to go um, back into my crease. to go in with this one here edgy and I'm just gonna pop that into my crease as well just to kind of like put a little bit more depth into it back to this um, fluffy brush the matte 224 and I'm just going to blend everything out so it doesn't look so harsh Okay guys, and then um, what I'm going to do is take this uh, facet, this Facenti, I'm not sure, this is a contour eyeshadow brush number four, and I am going to go in with this smoked, smoke color here, and I'm just going to go right into my crease, I mean I'm sorry, not into my crease, but on the outer corner. back in with the matte 317 and I'm just gonna kind of like blend it out a little bit So next I'm going to go in with this um, this palette, Radiant palette, and the color I'm going to use is this gold color. So what I'm going to do is, let's see, 
Where is... Here we go. I am going to take my matte uh, late and low and it's a pot. And uh, this brush is a F brush. I'm not sure. I don't I don't see a number, but the tip is like this. Okay. So I'm just gonna go right into my inner tear duct and out and I'm gonna carve this out. Mm -hmm. And what I like to do is go halfway of the eye. And basically what I'm trying to do is make sure it's even. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now I am going to go in with that gold color. But I'm gonna use a different brush. It's pretty much the same, but it's a little bit wider. This one. Okay. It's a little softer. Let's see. I'm hoping this will work. But you know what? I think I'm going to go in with that same brush. I think I'm going to go in with this brush. The same one. Because I don't... No, I'll take it back. I think I'm going to go in with this ColourPop brush. Sorry, this one. And I'm just going to pop it right on the lid here. The signals are broadcast as radio impulses <laughs> and kind of like even things out I'm gonna go back with um, this wimpy color here I'm kind of like uh, 
I don't want too much of it. Yeah, there we go. Mm -hmm. So then what I'm going to do is go back in with that flat brush. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, I'm just going to take this and kind of pull it out on that. Well, you could take your finger, whichever one is work for you, you know. But since I got the black on the outer corner, I'm not going to use the same finger to go on the inside. Because you don't want to get the black on the inside there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do the same with this one, kind of. And then use my fingers. Okay. Okay. Definitely gonna take that off. Take that off. And basically what I'm doing is just blending this all in together so it doesn't look so harsh, you know. So next is for this um, eyeliner. This is um, who is this by? Paula Deal. And I'm just gonna take this brush here. brush them up so like that I think I'm gonna take a little gel okay guys I'm gonna just do my eyebrows I'm gonna put just a little bit of um, wax just so that it could lay my keep my hairs down I'm basically just putting it all over. So 
So now I'm just going to go in with this Ardell. It's a brow, um, brow powder. And I'm going to use this color here. Just so you guys can know, you know. And what I'm doing is just going in to fill it in so. Okay. Okay. Now, that's it for the eyes for now. Let me clean the face up. I'm telling you guys, if I didn't have my freaking head on my shoulder, I would lose it. Now, where in the heck did my thing go? I don't know what I did with it. I lose everything. Oh, there it goes. This thing right here, I got it. Uh, I got it in a kit. Something that got, and they, um, they, they had it up in there. It's a makeup eraser, and it really erases your makeup. <laughs> so I'm just going to clean this stuff up. Okay. I'm going to use this, the professional. I'm just going to dab it on my face here and there. Don't have to be all neat. Okay, guys. Uh, uh, camera stop. So, like I was saying, just rub all of this primer in. smells so good all right so what I'm now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use two different um, foundation this one is L'Oreal true match it's in the color cool yes. I hope you guys can see that can you see that perfect and then this right here is a new um, foundation and it is um, cover girl by Stalic Healthy Ex and this one is in the color 765 not sure what color that is but it's new so and both the oh I'm sorry this one is um, Tony 
Tunny, 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 tunny. I'm just going to shake them a little bit. Just going to add a little bit on the back of my hand. Don't want much. And then one drop of that. And what I like to do is, where is that brush? I don't know what I did. Oh, here it goes. What I like to do is just take this little flat brush and brush it on a little bit. Just a certain area, just a little flat brush. Mix it on the back of my hand. And I like to just lay it here. I'm just going to blend that in. And what I like to do is, you know what? Let's put this in there. What I like to do is, I like to take these two. Wet and Wild Concealer. One is in mm, Wet and Wild Auto Focus. I don't know the color. Oh, this one is in Medium. And this one I want to say is in Dark. I can't even really read that. Yeah, Dark. Dark Cocoa. So what I'd like to do is mix both of these. I know sometimes I just flop this stuff on. Then I'm going to take the dark one and I'm going to just 
put it over it. Because that one is really too light. So I just take a darker one and put it on there. Then you'll see how it turned out. take this spongy ball and I'm just gonna blend it in. really set my under eyes but you know let's let's go ahead and try this okay let's just try this what I want to do now okay it's a fun day why not play in makeup okay so then I'm gonna take my Sasha buttercup sorry guys I didn't show you to you but Why is it? Oh my gosh. That was weird. All right, this is my Sasha Buttercup. And I'm just gonna set my under eye, press it in. Try not to make no face. Okay. Now. Then what I'm going to do. Put a little bit here. Put a little bit down my nose. And here. Now I look like an Indian tribe. Do I look like an Indian tribe? I think I look like an Indian tribe. <laughs> okay. I'm just clowning. Let's wipe this stuff off. Um, Wipe it off. Okay, let's pull this up so I know. 
I have to just keep wiping that because I don't I don't want to be looking all dusty. So I mean, I'm going to go back into my um, Tarte Pro palette. And I'm going to use those same colors. And I'm just going to pop it right up under my eyes. And I like to use an angle brush. You know what? Let's just use this. eyeliner it's called Nikkei waterproof eyeliner by New York just one of those generic ones I guess so I'm gonna try it for the first time and see how this works Shut your mouth. Oh, yeah. I like this. Just, uh, I'm just lining my waterline. Skin it back out, skin it back out. Okay. So now I'm just gonna contour a little bit. I am going to use the City Color Collection Contour Stick. take this right down my nose, elongate my nose like that, okay, let's go straight down the nose, this 
I'm good. I think I'm getting this dent like right on my nose from my glasses. So I'm gonna get a clean blending brush and I'm just gonna blend that out. So I'm going to get some more of my setting powder and I'm just going to go up under where it contour. Yeah. I know this might seem like a lot, but this is not an everyday thing that I do. If you guys want to see what I do every day, just let me know. And I would do a video on my every day. Okay. And I think that looks good. Alright. Now what? Blush. Uh, let's go with... I want to go with these two right here. And this is my Elf Blush Palette. Okay. I'm going to use this one. Put a little. Just a little bit. Are you guys ready? You ready for the good stuff? I got this um, liquid glow out of my boxy charm. I did try this one out. I really did. So let me clean my hand because I don't want no. So we're going to use this um, glow and we're just going to put it right on the cheekbone. All it takes is a little bit now guys, don't get carried away with this stuff. So I like to just dab it right there and go down with it. Mm-hmm. Just blend that stuff out. Can't you see it? Hmm? I know you guys can see that. If I can see it, you can see it. So, oh, see, that's why I say always. Man, oh man, oh man. Blend that back out. Can you guys see that? 
All it takes is a little bit. And I just, what I do is just take what's on this little thing and take it off. Because it'd be, it'd be so much on here. And I just take it down a little bit, just rub it in. And I tell that's still too much. I hope you guys can see that. I'm pretty sure you can. Okay. Now. Be careful with this. Just wiping this brush off because I can't use no fan. That fan take up too much of that stuff. So I'm using this little fluffy brush, you know. Just kind of like twirl it up in here like a little bit, you know. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit now. Don't go crazy. Don't go crazy on me. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. a lot so I kind of want to blend this out a little bit more you guys know what I'm talking about mm-hmm mm -hmm. what you think Don't want to blind you guys, you know. So, back to this right here glow. If you don't want to look like uh, Rudolph the Red Nose, Rudolph the Shiny Nose Reindeer, <laughs> just put a little bit of glow on it. Right down the nose. Right down the nose. Give you that nice warm glow. Not too harsh. Okay. Yeah, there you go. So, blend this out just a little bit more. And take a little bit here. Bet you guys didn't know that I knew about that, right? Uh-huh. Fooled you. Take a little bit from the other side. And then take what's on that brush and brush it up in that little, up over your eyebrow bone. Mm-hmm. Guys, I literally didn't put that much on there. And I'm shining like a, I don't know, just put a little bit. Take some more off of that. Put a little bit here. Take some more off of that. Some more for this one. Put a little bit here. What you think? 
Mm -hmm. All right. Now for the next fun part. It's real. I know you guys heard of that. I, I had to go buy a bigger. Let me show you. I went and bought the bigger one. I haven't used it yet because I want to use all of this uh, sample first. Upper eyelashes. Okay. And before it dry, I like to um what do I do with my thing? I like to curl it. Okay. Just squeeze that. And pull it just a little bit. Okay. Then I like to go back over it. What you think? Okay, let's do the next one. And you don't really have to put like two coats of eyelash on, but you know, I'm not good with the putting the false lashes on, so I gotta do something with these things. Okay, before it dry, curl it. I didn't, I didn't pinch myself, I don't know how many times with these things. Okay. And I, now I'm going to do the bottom lash. I hope you guys really like my hair. Let me know down in a comment if you guys like my hair like this. Or are you getting suggestions on how I can wear it? Okay. So. I got two bronzers. I have this one and I have this one. I think I want to use the new one. Let's see what Okay. So let's go in. Mm. I guess I could use just that I put my blush on. Let's go in and just bronze that baby up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just bronze that baby up. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Put a little color back in that fit. And your. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm talking about, girl. Put a little color up in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Put a little color in it. Um, put a little color in it. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Okay, guys. I think I've been playing enough. So whatever's left on the brush from the highlighter. From the highlight just take it if any come out no not really so let me go back in here and grab a little bit mm -hmm. okay so now time for the lips 
What am I doing with my lip gloss? I mean my lipstick. Oh, here we go. Since we are using, I think I want to use, um, uh, I want to use this one by I'm Love by Color, is it ColourPop? I think it is. I think they sent this to me. But anyways, I'm love. So, I'm just going to outline my lips. Mm -hmm, mm Then the lipstick I'm going to use is by MAC and it's called What is it called? Viva Glam 2 And this is how it look Bam Mm-hmm. I don't know why that looks dark. I think I might want to put a little bit of lipstick on this. I mean, a little lip gloss. When I say a little lipstick, I'm so crazy. I feel like I used it with a dark color. Okay. And this is um, Wet by Wet n Wild. It's like a gold. Okay. And then I'm going to use this right here by Mario Basico or Basaco Badico Banaka Maluka. <laughs> and I'm just going to use this to set my face, guys. Mmm, it feels so good. And smells good. Alrighty, I think that's it. That's it, my friends. you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up if you're not already subscribed go ahead and subscribe to my channel so you'll never miss an upload from me if you're oldie but goodie thank you guys so much for coming back to supporting me until next time i love you guys stay blessed and i will see you in my next video bye